Question number 16 from the Get Ready Guide for the Bergen Academy's admission test. The postage rate for first class mail is 46 cents for the first ounce. 17 cents for each additional ounce or a fraction of an ounce. How much will it cost to send a five and a half ounce package? Okay, so five and a half ounce package. We know that the first ounce will be calculated at a rate of 46 cents, right? How about the rest? We have four and a half ounces left. But remember, the question said for each additional ounce or fraction of an ounce. So four and a half ounces is actually four ounces and half an ounce. But this will be calculated as four ounces and this will be calculated as a whole ounce because it says here for each additional ounce or a fraction, we pay 17 cents. So we can basically write an equation like this. We know it's 46 cents for the first ounce. Okay, we're done with this. Plus 17 cents times any additional ounce or fraction of an ounce. How many ounces do we have additionally? We have four ounces, then we have a fraction of an ounce. So four plus one, we have five. So the answer is 46 plus. What's 17 times 5? It's 85. So 46 plus 85, the answer will be, hmm, let's add, 6 and 5 is 11. So 9 and 4, 13. So 131, what? 131 cents, right? So 1.31 dollars. The answer will be Okay, question number um, 17 we um, did already before it's in another video. So you can check um, the same playlist or if you search, you'll find number 17 in a separate video. Let's do number 18. Which of the following fractions is equal to 2%? Okay, what's 2%? It's 2 over, per means over, 100, which is cent. 2 over 100 can be simplified 1 over 50. Now check really quickly. Is there 1 over 50? Oh yes, there is. So it's very simple. The answer is B. Question number 19. How many numbers between 3 and 101 are exactly divisible by 4? Now one way to do this is to actually try the numbers and see what numbers are divisible by 4 and what are not. But you're probably going to have to try a lot of numbers. Okay, even if you look at the answer choices here, the answers are all very big numbers. So this is going to take a very long time. So what do we do instead? Well, what we do is we start with the big number, which is 101. Now I'm looking for how many numbers between 3 and 101 are divisible by 4. So I divide 101 by 4. Okay, what do I get? I get 25 times 4 is 100, right? So you have a remainder of 1. Okay, now you, you could do this um, on two steps, like how would you normally do it? You would go 101 divided by 4, and then we'd say um, 10 divided by 4, we take 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 10 minus 8 is 2, and then 1, then 5 times 4 is 20, you have a remainder of 1, same thing. So how many numbers do I have that are divisible by 4? 25. Okay, the remainder doesn't count because it means a fourth of a number, which is not a number. So we need we have 25 numbers that are actually divisible by 4. But before we hurry up and choose D, you need to check the 3 here because it said between 3 and 101. So ask yourself, what is the first number divisible by, 20, by 4? It's 4. And 4 is already bigger than 3, so it doesn't matter. Basically, the answer would still be 25 if I asked you how many numbers between 0 and 101 are divisible by 4, or how many numbers between 1 and 101, or 2, or 3, and so on. Well, what if I asked you how many numbers between 5 and 101 are exactly divisible by 4? I would do the same thing here, but then I would need to take away one of the 25, one from the 25, because my first number in the range is 5 which means that the number 4 does not count. Let me write this right here as another example. Let's say, for example, I ask you, 
how many numbers between 5 and 101 are divisible by 4. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the upper limit of my range. So I'll do 101 divided by 4. What I'm going to get is 25 and a remainder of 1. What does that mean? It means there are 25 numbers, okay, positive numbers or integers, starting with 0. Um, 0 is not positive, by the way. Um, that can be divisible by 4. So we have 25 numbers. But what's the first number that's divisible by 4? It's 4. And then afterwards we have 8. And then we have 12, and so on, and so on, and so on, all the way up till 100. So the first divisible number, one of the 25, is 4. And the question is saying between 5 and 101. So the 4 doesn't count. Therefore, your answer is going to be 24 if you have a question like this. But for number 19, the answer is on the right. In red, the answer will be D25. Okay, number 20. What is 2% of 1 half? Okay, simple. 2%, um, as we're used to, um, right, we do 2. Percent means over 100. Of means times half. Okay, take away the 2 with the 2. You're left with 1 over 100. Now, check. Is there 1 over 100? No, there isn't. They're all in decimal form. Okay, that's simple. 1 over 10 is 0 0.1, right? Okay, what's 1 over 100? 0 0.01. So the answer is 0.01c. Number 